Hey guys, welcome to my first ever vlog. So let's do this thing. Hey guys, the topic for today is running a GX cassette with a X01 or XX1 chain and uh, how long does it actually last? So um, this week or a couple of weeks ago actually I started when I was cycling it started to skip at the back on the fourth gear from the, the smallest gear over there and if you can see it over there it started to skip and that is definitely a telltale sign of uh, your cassette is worn and uh, unfortunately you're going to have to replace it so what I did a while back, obviously when I bought uh, the Epic, was I immediately changed the GX chain out for a XX1 chain. And the reason for this is I normally run the GX chain, but um, after three months or so, I have to replace the GX chain. So in other words, like three or four chains, and then you've got to basically replace the cassette. So my logic behind this whole thing was well, if the chain is stretching, let's put a better quality chain on and let's hope it'll actually uh, extend the life of the cassette. So to cut a long story short, in the past I used to get about a year out of the cassette. And unfortunately, I'm still getting a year out of the cassette. The only difference is um, when measuring the XX1 chain, absolutely no stretch. Still perfect condition, good to use. And... Uh, 15 months later, so I put the XX1 chain on 15 months ago and now it's time to change the cassette at the back and in that 15 months I did 3458 kilometers which is 2148 miles in 164 hours so that's how long this lasted, 164 hours the GX cassette now the thing about the GX cassette is is what they call a pinned cassette so all these different gears are actually stamped individually and then put together with these pins over here and then uh, that obviously helps make uh, a much cheaper component than uh, the x01 or xx1 component which is actually milled completely out of one piece of steel they mill it so there's no pin excepting for the x01 at the 50 tooth cha uh, chain ring at the top over here is also aluminium and it's pinned on so that's the difference between the GX it's a pinned cassette cheaper to make it's stamped and the X01 is a milled piece of uh, metal they put a piece of metal down they mill it down which is obviously a lot more expensive to make and uh, yeah then they just pin this uh, big 50 tooth actual chain ring at the back here onto it but as you can see you can actually see the wear on the cassette and now what I've actually decided to do in my country the X01 cassette is actually not that much more expensive than the GX1 and I, I didn't actually decide it the bike shop said they didn't have uh, any spare GX cassette so uh, I wasn't left with much of an option there um, so I had to opt for the GX cassette, uh, the X1 cassette. So they've put that on and I'm hoping, because I can't actually find any information on this. This is obviously steel and the X01 is also steel. But I don't know if that's chromoly steel. I see some people saying maybe somebody can comment in the comments below over there what it is. Or if it's just got a special coating or what it is. Because if I can get it to last... As long as I'm getting the X01, XX1 chain to last, then it's actually worth the money. So in 15 months time, I'll be able to give you feedback on if an XX1 chain with an X01 cassette actually lasts longer than a GX cassette. And the saving in weight is only 95 grams and it's actually not about the weight here. I'm actually trying to get the components to last longer. So... Uh, to replace something like this once a year is actually quite a costly exercise and if I can get that to last longer with a X01 cassette it'll actually be worth it I'm just hoping that it's going to um, 
lasts a lot longer than what this has lasted. I'm actually quite disappointed how the XX1 chain in this uh, short period was a year. Although, granted, I do ride a lot on the bicycle. So maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below what you actually, or what your experiences are with actually changing stuff out. In other words, running like a GX cassette with an X01 chain or XX1 chain, what you guys have found. Because in all honesty, it doesn't help. The, the oils, you need to oil your chain, but the oil is not going to extend the life of the chain or the cassette dr dramatically. It's just the wear of the actual components themselves. And that's what I found with the GX chain. It actually started to stretch. And the stretching, I thought, was actually destroying the cassette at the back. But it doesn't actually look like it because on the XX1 chain, as I mentioned, it's still in perfect condition after that amount of kilometers and hours. It's just the cassette at the back, the gears that are actually failing and not meshing incorrectly. Um, so maybe somebody else can give me a comment in the bottom what they've actually found or how they've uh, managed to extend the life of these components because um, obviously that's the goal here to try do this as uh, or to reduce the cost of uh, these components especially if you're putting big hours and big miles on these bikes and then guys as you can see i'm wearing the 361 cap maybe uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do a bit of a vlog on the 361 and what it took to actually do the 361 training wise and everything else preparation please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time